Welcome. In front of me is a Vivo Y16, and today I'll show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this phone. Now, you can see that the phone I have right here is locked, and I could unlock it using the previously set up Google account, which I haven't filled out. And if I go back, uh, or I guess back and then forward, I can also verify it using pattern. Now, assuming we don't know either of those, we can just bypass this. So to get started, you'll want to progress through the setup till you get right over here, which is the Wi-Fi connection page, obviously. Connect to your network, which I have already done, and then go back to the first page of the setup, right over here. And what you want to do now is start off by selecting accessibility settings, Oops, that's not what I wanted. Let's go back. Accessibility settings, and from here, talkback. Use talkback. I think normally you should hear like the talkback actually reading what's written. Never mind. There it is. Oh my god, that is so slow. Anyway, I'm gonna just mute it. Hopefully, it's not distracting. So once you see this page, uh, you don't need to wait for the talkback. I think it should work right away. But once you see this page with an outline, you want to draw a mirrored L in that outline or in the boundaries of it, like this. Come on. Is this like annoying? There we go. From here, uh, you're going to select the first option. Just double tap on the one that is already selected. Then select the user voice commands. And before you double tap on it, I'm gonna quickly go into what we need to uh, basically say to it because it will activate uh, activate microphone and the device will start listening to you. So you wanna give it uh, two commands. Uh, one will be open Google Assistant and then the other one will be open YouTube. Now it does need to be set in specific moments. So when you double tap on it, you will hear a beep. At that point, you wanna say open Google Assistant you'll hear one more beep that accepts your voice command and then another one that basically signifies that uh, voice uh, Google Assistant is now listening to you, which you wanna follow up by saying open YouTube. So I'll do this right now and you can just kind of uh, hear how it's done. So anyway, open Google Assistant. Open YouTube. And there we go. So that's what we wanted to do. Now, now that YouTube is open, you want to hold the volume up and the volume down. Select turn on, double tap, and hold those two keys once more. And now, as you can see, the little overlay disappeared and we can now uh, use the screen normally because TalkBack did kind of prevent us from being able to use it as we would normally do. So from here, uh, you want to select the account icon and then we're going to select settings about Google privacy policy and this will open up our web browser. Accept and continue, no thanks, the typical stuff. And right here in the search bar you will navigate to hard reset that info slash bypass. If you need a moment to copy this link, do pause the video. Okay, now that the site is loaded, scroll down and you'll see settings right here. Simply click on it. And in the settings, we will start off by just going into system, which is all the way at the bottom. And reset options. Erase all data factory reset and let's see actually no not this my bad reset there we go all settings and reset all settings erase all settings and now we will basically repeat all the steps uh, all the way to the point that 
to the point that we get to the web browser again and navigate to hard reset info again but instead of opening up settings we will now open up a different application so uh, at this point i'm gonna just kind of breeze through it as quick as i can uh, just to save a little bit of time uh, if you get lost throughout this you can just refer back to the beginning of the video when i was going through it uh, at a much slower pace just pr telling you what i'm pressing on right now i'm just gonna be doing everything like super quick because like i said it's we're basically repeating all the steps uh, that we did at the start all the way till you selected settings Yeah, so let's get going. Open Google Assistant. Use voice. Use. Open Google Assistant. Can't recognize this command. Say. Navigation button. It might be that our uh, our uh, internet connection is uh, right now not connected, so I'm just gonna back uh, go a little bit through the setup and just make sure. Yep, so I'm not connected right now. So I'm gonna quickly do so. What the heck? Come on, there we go. Okay, so I have connected to my network and now I'm gonna uh, start this thing again. So it wasn't accepting my voice command just because it automatically disconnects from Wi-Fi. So we just need to repeat this now. Talk back on. Use, use. Open Google Assistant. Open YouTube. Talk back off. Okay, so from here, uh, once you get to the web uh, web page right here, instead of selecting settings, you're just gonna select uh, screen lock set many. I'm going to select PIN. Now, at the beginning of the video, you've seen that the way of unlocking the device before was through pattern. Uh, this does not have much like impact here, what the device was locked with. Uh, I'm just mentioning this just because when I select PIN, it's obviously going to be completely different way of unlocking the device than it previously was. And as you've seen throughout the video, I have not done any kind of uh, well, unlocking of any sorts. So in here, we're just gonna select pin. I do recommend also choosing pin. It's gonna make it a little bit simpler to the video and set it up to be the same thing, which is one, two, three, four. Next, one, two, three, four. Confirm it. Now I'm gonna skip this. Now, I guess we're just gonna be stuck here. So I'm assuming it went all correctly. So let's just back out to the, back to the setup screen. So right over here and just gonna go through this setup right now. And as you can see, it's telling me to verify pin now instead of the previously used pattern. So I just type in one, two, three, four, which is the pin that I set up uh, from the website. Let's confirm it and come on, there we go. And that's basically all it took. So now I'm gonna select skip now. One more info that I'll give you is uh, right now you can finish up the setup of your phone, but it's still recommended that you perform a factory reset of the device. I'll show you where you can find this option if you're not aware, uh, but generally just go through the setup right now as quick as you can. Don't select anything like special here. Just, just go through it, select all the required fields and everything else. Just choose whatever the heck you want uh, without like actually putting much thought into it because like I said 
we still need to factory reset the device. It is generally advised to do so. Uh, factory reset through settings will remove all the protection that was previously on this device, which will also include uh, the pen, pattern, passwords, Google accounts that still might be on this phone. So I'm gonna select remind me later here. Probably didn't get this pop up, but anyway, let's open up settings. Scroll all the way down to system and then reset options. And then here you're gonna select erase all data factory reset. This will remove all the data from your device. Now it is a factory reset, so it will take several minutes to finish up. And afterwards you will be presented with Android setup screen, at which point you can go through it however you want. The device will be fully unlocked, so you don't need to do anything extra. You don't need to like bypass anything. You can just go through the setup, set up everything that you want, and that's it. So anyway, with this being said, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.